What's going on guys? Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing In the Mind of Apathy. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen this type of series back with other YouTubers like maybe Clayster or someone else. And I did this actually in Ghost. This is when I started doing that. When I first started my YouTube, I did a couple of these. In Advanced Warfare, I did one or two. And in this game, I've done one. So in today's video, I decided, you know what? These are pretty good videos. You guys get a, my, th my thought process. You guys learn a couple new things about me and about my gameplay or of the game so before we really go in depth and we really start this i want to show you guys a cool funny clip that i get right here and then we're going to be going about halfway when they start to come back and really talk about the gameplay and what i did to help us secure a win to keep it success so right here you know it's a funny little clip i got a kill jump up i believe i kill zoom above me i pretty much juke them he thought i was gonna keep wall running i go back down I see they're still in the old hill, so I decide to wall run under the bridge, go back up. I spot a patch rotating into the next hill. I, I know someone's going to be near me. As soon as I drop, another guy shows up. I decide to go back on Zuma. I melee him. I die, but we both get taken out. Just a little part, a little, a little, the way I play. You know, you guys know I'm a maniac. I make you plays, baby. But now let's really get right into it. Okay, guys, so we fast forward. We actually had about an 80-point lead. Look at the score now. They managed to come back. The reason I fast forward about five minutes, just because this video would have been way too long. I don't want to bore you with my commentary and trying to help you guys, you know. But right here, I picked the first kill. I try to put some more shots in. The good thing is they're weak. Placer, I believe, got a wraith. So now, on top of them having a hill or they came back, they have a freaking wraith above us. The good thing is we managed to trade the kills effectively. We decide, you know what? Let's stay in the building. We got Merc with the pure fire. I peeked the wall run. I believe I get this kill. Merc gets the second kill with the fire. So right here, we're in a good spot. Now, right here, I told whoever, I think that was Burns. Luckily, he had heat waves, so it worked out on, on our part. But I told him he should have pushed rotated early. As soon as Merc died, right there, he should have been rotating. Now, the bad part is we had we caught up back. We got our lead back. You know, we were about to have a 40-point lead. But the, the bad part is they obviously have a rate. That was a good part. My bad. So right here, you know, I decided, you know, usually you could hit the hill. They do have a wraith, and we don't even have spawn. So in my mind, I'm like, you know what? I could have hit the hill, maybe got a two-piece, maybe broken somehow. But I'm just going to go to the back and play for spawns. Now, the wraith is there, and it takes me out. The good thing is, since I was last there, before I died, burn spawns on me. And since burn spawned there, I have a team in the left, which is almost exactly the same thing. I spawned on him. I pick a big two-piece. I managed to get killed from AC. They're using a Hellstorm. Now, Clayster, whoever has streaks, I, I believe that's someone else. They have like two people with streaks are going all out with them. Right here, I hit the left. You know, I am trying to play for the spawns. I hear this, this guy trying to call lightning. I kill Zoom as quick as possible. I go to the back again. I'm really trying to secure this spawn for my teammate. You know, I want them to spawn on me. I want us to break this, hit this hill. So right here, they didn't spawn on me, but I decided to hit the back. Focus is kill. I realize he isn't to my left. I kill attach. I get taken out immediately. They do have a service on all the hill. I should have put out EMPs right away, but you know, knowing me, I forgot. Right here, the last guy should have went middle on the mini map. You guys saw him. He, okay, now he's he's, he's peeking middle. But us three hit the new hill. I get taken out, but attach immediately. Now, the score is back to even. Now this is rough right here. Right here, I spawn out. I decide to pinch the spawns because it's dumb for me to go middle. It's a death trap. I obviously want to pinch for both spots. I spot Clayster. I'm trying to take out Clayster. I believe I take out Clayster, but I get killed immediately from the back from attach. Now I spawn trees. My teammates are doing a good job. With, uh, since I pinched, you know, help. I take out the, the service with an EMP. I believe they get another one, though. I rush and heal. Clean up a kill. Do what I do. You see the Serbia right there? There's another one. I'm fucking... I'm throwing EMPs. I'm chugging EMPs trying to kill it, but I believe I didn't hit it here. I get a heal immediately, I camo and lay down. This way, I can try to get a kill or two. And I believe I get this kill. I did my job, I bought some time, I got a kill. You know, wasn't the best way to use camo, it was more of a defensive way. But it kind of paid out, I mean, it didn't go that bad. Here I'm throwing some more EPs, trying to get the stamp Serby. I don't know what the hell it is. I decided to spot this hill, you know, peek real quick. I managed to take out Clay holding the hill. Now right here in my mini map, I spot two people in the old hill. I have a Serby in front of me, so I decided to jump up right away. Maybe keep this alley. I picked up this insane two-piece. Almost probably could have been a three-piece if I really just focused that kill. I kind of stopped shooting. I thought I was dead for sure. But, you know, I still got a huge two-piece. I'm over here throwing some more EMPs, trying to get the damn Serby. I don't know if I got it. This guy, whoever pushed up, went pretty huge. He, he stayed alive for a long time. Who was that? I think it was Enable. Enable did a good job right there. Or it might have been Clayster. I don't know. Whoever rushed like a maniac. Right here, try to kill Attach. You know, he's preaming me the door. Now, right here, you guys can see we're in a pretty shitty situation. Like, what do we do? Uh, we It's obviously 30 seconds of the hill. We're down by 25 now. We need this time. We need a security this time. You know, we got to try to get this time. So, right here, we still push this last second. I trade skill on the right. Merc gets taken out. I believe one of our teammates either spawned here 
are rotated while us three are hitting the hill. So luckily we spawn here. 15 seconds remaining. I decided to push out a tree because a lot of teams like to push around with only 10 seconds remaining. I decided to hit this hill one more time just because, you know, why not? Why not push it through? We need this time. So I spawn out. I call it to my team. That means they're pinching, guys. If you ever see yourself spawn out, it means they're pinching. It means they're pushing the other side. It means they're pinching, which you can see my teammates are getting taken out one by one. Now, there's three of them there. I set a lay down. I immediately get Heat Wave. Now, Heat Wave placed her as well. That's the only reason why I survived. And then Clay was weak already from money putting bullets in them. I let my teammates secure that last kill in the back. And I'm over here. I, I just push through the whole spawns. My teammate spawns on me due to that. I peek middle. You know, just a different spot than I was last time. Attach goes there. I run back middle. I believe I get shot. No, my teammates die. I rotate back in hill. Right here, we still have spawns, which is good. I, I pretty much dash right away to get away from that kid bottom. And then I get taken out by study. But either way, you know, we're doing such a good job of holding spawns, holding the hill. You know, this is why we practice every day. And it's paying off. So right here, I don't really know what to do. They threw a nade. They're all hitting the hill. Now, due to them being so aggressive and pushing, I spawn. I, I got a good spawn. That's four down for them, though. So they're probably spawning front field or they're spawning glass. And at this point, you know, I'm like, I want to hold the back, but I don't know what to do because my teammates also probably need help. As soon as I didn't see anyone in the hill, I decided to rotate to the back. But now I'm one shot. So right here, I try to buy as much time as possible. My teammates get pinched out. I spawned out. This is not good, right? You know, we had such a huge lead. We came back. They came back. We came back again. I go top AC to help my teammate out. I pick up one kill. I get taken out immediately, but at least I did my job. And we get pinched. Now, this is one of the worst nightmares. Spawning out here, especially when you, you, you can lose on this hill. But in my mind, you know, I'm like, we got to hit the back. We need a security spawn. So right now, I push the back. You can see... I spot one. I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to camo in, you know, try to make a play. I go immediately to the right. I said, screw everything else. I kill Nate in the back, which was a huge kill. Burns picks up one. I stay alive. Study picks up the guy behind me. Now, this should still spawn on us. If not, they're going to split. So, right here, we know they're spawning in front of us. Study immediately spawns behind us. That indicates, all right, they have to be in front of us. And what Merc pretty much said, in case we lose this hill, I'm going to rotate early. So, we could have possibly won on that hill. But Merc decided to rotate early. And it paid off because he got a huge two-piece. But right here, it's scary. He heat waves me. He jumps out too fast. I get purified. Steady picks up a kill. I mean, it's chaotic. I get taken out. You know. I mean, realistically, we could have won on that hill if Merc just held it. But Study goes huge with the scythe. We all go huge. And we end up winning the map. Now, I mean, we all played pretty good. Obviously, you know, Merc struggled a little bit. But... You know, it was a really close game against FaZe. They're obviously a very strong hardpoint team. I think I like to consider ourselves a pretty good hardpoint team as well. You know, that's probably my best game type hardpoint. Hard point. You know, I'm doing very good at all times. But, you know, we managed to take the W. It was very close, a very hard game. I mean, we just did the right things and we clutched up. They clutched up a lot. That's the only reason why they almost came back on us. But we managed to take the W. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy, Apathy. And I'm out. Peace.